Uh, hi, I would like to ask if it has happened to you that some friends or people you know uh, said something to the effect of, oh, when he is surveilling, uh, there's surveillance and investigation by the police, then he has to have done something, or that people distance themselves from you because they didn't trust you anymore. Not that I know. I can't exclude the possibility that this happened, but then I think people may have done it without telling us so, which, which is a nicer way of doing that. Um, but, but for the majority of people, rather the opposite was true. They, I, I don't know how many people I told that they need to now understand that they will also be subjected to surveillance if they contact us or if they go out with us or whatever else. And many, many people um, are, are saying, I, don't, I really don't care. I, don't want to leave you alone with this, I will still be there. Even, even people who explicitly um, phrase the things they said on the phone in a way that um, try to attract as much police attention as possible, where I said, listen, this is serious, this is no game, please don't do that, because it really is dangerous, they really are serious about this, it's not playing, and, and, and where I had the feeling I had to protect them rather than they protecting themselves. Thanks. I expect you already made uh, some thoughts about the people who did it all to you. So uh, I, I wanted to know what do you think about these people? Because every normal person would believe a guy who does anything like that would be insane. <laughs> You know, there's, I think, probably thousands of policemen <laughs> out there. Um, and it's their job, I guess. Yes, but if. Mm, how it all started, you know? In my opinion, it's even uh, crazy that uh, you make a war because uh, uh, there was something like the 11th of September. I, yes, I am thinking, of course, this um, in, in different ways. Um, one, like, what kind of people and how do they feel if they have, have to listen to my phone calls for, for a year now and, and have to read all of my email? Um, that must be so boring, <laughs> for one. <laughs> And, and um, what kind of person would, would live a life of, of, of doing these kinds of things? And I have these kinds of thoughts, and, and then also I have these, like, more wider, on a wider perspective on things, I have these thoughts about why is this kind of thing happening? Why is this the kind of um, um, method that this country uses to... Um, catch terrorists is what they say and then then what what actually is intended with this which i would think is this to have more control over a, a wide spectrum of population um, and specifically of course this is not directed at everybody i think um, a mistake that was made also to my blog or, or i think a mistake that is being made in the perception of this whole story is that um, this is directed at everybody i think at the moment this is not directed at everybody what is very obvious is, is directed at political activism it's directed at a certain spectrum of of political activism of the left at the moment um, and, and um, I wouldn't exclude the possibility that this is being extended and extended and extended, and um, this is what has happened. Um, and, and then I think my thoughts are the same than, than everybody else's who starts wondering about um, the policies of security and surveillance and control in our society that um, are, are going in a direction that I perceive as extremely dangerous, but not because I happen to be subjected to it in a very personal way, but because I think it is extremely dangerous for the society as, as a whole, and I think we probably, or I hope most of us agree on this. Hello. Uh, I have uh, like a question which is a bit more technical, so if you want to respond or someone else from, uh, from the public. So I, I was um, thinking about what you said about your telephone and uh, the um, uh, interference with the television. And I'm uh, asking myself whether, uh, is it, um, of course your SIM is under control, no? Your, your telephone number is connected. But is, it some, is there anything also in a physical object telephone? or? Uh, uh, is it only in the seam that the control goes through? Like that's, uh, wh what, you, what was your impression? Do you have the impression that in the, in the physical telephone object there's uh, a controlling device or, or not? Just 
I have no impression because I never looked, <laughs> and I'm not an expert enough to be able to detect these kind of things. I think there's many people here who are able to answer these questions better, but I would also like to know more about this type of thing. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd just like to make a comment, actually, and say I really salute your courage. Um, I used to work on the inside. I worked for MI5 in the UK for a number of years, and then um, blew the whistle with my partner, David Chaler, my ex-partner. And um, I also salute your courage in fighting for your man, because we went through something very, very similar. So thank you for standing up for our rights. Um, thank you. Everything you've been talking about tonight in terms of surveillance is all too true, and it can be worse. So um, just keep on fighting, that's all you can do. And please, everybody, please keep on fighting, because, again, what you're talking about is an erosion of all our basic freedoms. And it may just be the left at the moment, and it has been the left for decades, but it will creep out and creep out in this unending and illegal war on terror. So please, everyone, keep fighting back. Thank you very much. Thank you. I had a question to you. Um, would you like to talk to the people who um, listen to your phone calls uh, or read your emails and ask them what they really think about and not uh, what they put in the folders? Would you like to do that? No. I excuse for my losing English. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. No? Because um, I don't consider this to be our personal fight, them against us. I think they just happen to be there doing their job and I don't really care about their personal feelings about this. I would like to understand about the mechanisms, yes, but as people, they are, I think, the people I care about least at the moment. Okay, thank you. Um, in the discussion of uh, this and similar topics over the last uh, years, a uh, topic often was uh, that of apathy, that people often don't care about those, people, uh, those things happening because they maybe think it doesn't concern me or I have not, nothing to hide. In your talking to everyday, to, to average Joe people, do you think telling that story changes uh, uh, the, the apathy, has an uh, effect on people? Um, a little, I think, yes because I had the feeling that um, I could reach many people who have never considered that this could be happening so close to them. Um, like what I said about the many comments being shocked and, and, and thinking this is normally happening in Russia or Korea or used to be happening in Russia or wherever but not here. I think these people actually did start thinking about, about this in a different way than they did before. Um, if it really changes something about this apathy of this feeling uh, um, of not being able to change the situation or not being able to do something against that, I I'm not sure. Um, I, I would hope that it does, and, but, but yeah, I don't really know. I mean, in a, in a way, our situation coincided, um, for example, with the big demonstration against data retention in Berlin in September and, and um, a debate about... Um, the so-called terrorism of the, of the left um, in the 70s in Germany, plus the debate about online searches, like very many issues that are somehow related. And I have the feeling there is something like a movement still growing um, that is uh, really in an active way worried about privacy and, and surveillance. And I really hope that um, I can contribute to people getting active about these things, um, but uh, of course I can't really say. But uh, yes, I do think that I've reached out to some people who wouldn't have thought about it otherwise. Um, hi, um, I have a comment and a question. First, the comment, thanks for blogging all this, because I think there might be a lot of people who believe in the system like it is right now, and maybe if they are in the focus of some of the police or something, they just think, okay, I'm just the exception. It generally works, but uh, I, you know, s mistakes happen everywhere, but now if you blog about this and maybe more people say, I, that happened to me as well, slowly people will see uh, this is not just a mistake, this is actually part of the system and uh, we have to decide if we want this. And, um, yeah. I think... And the question is, uh, you said you had no time to translate your, your blog posts in English, so a pragmatic question is, do you maybe need people to translate your blogs, uh, to your posts into English, maybe like the, the, the past ones or uh, from now on? Uh, 
Um, I, I would actually, I would appreciate that very much. I would feel a bit strange because I, I mean, I can't speak English and I could be writing in English, but um, yes, there's many people who don't understand German who said they, they are actually very sorry that they can't read my I, blog. I guess so this is more about time and nerves than speaking English. It would be very nice if people would help with that, yes. I mean, there's a room full of English-speaking <laughs> people here, so... Uh, we also have a lot of important things to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, um, yeah. This, this feeling of, of um, it always, we have to stop. <laughs> this, I, I'll just finish this sentence. This feeling of, of always thinking, thinking this happens to other people but not me. Um, I think you will never get rid of that. I had this myself. I, even when the police were storming into my bedroom, I had this feeling, ah, okay, so this is what it feels like. And at the same time, I, it felt totally so unbelievable that I had the feeling that I was completely like distancing myself out of that scene. I was from that moment on watching myself in some funny movie, but I had the feeling I'm not really there myself. It's not me. It's not happening to me. It can't be happening to me. And I think we all always think, can't be me. It must be somebody else. If you didn't by any chance have the possibility to donate, the boxes are still here. We have to finish here because the next uh, talk is coming up. Thank you very much for being here.